Hi guys, I've got a little article here that I wanted to just have a little chat about and uh, perhaps get your opinions as well on whether you think the college was right or wrong or, you know, trying something a little new for the channel. So, the headline here, City College Norwich Autistic Student Binned from Course. Now, the reason I've actually picked this is because it's fresh in my mind, for one, and for two, I'm autistic myself. So it's quite close to my heart, and it's actually pretty close to home, because Norwich is only 16 miles away. The college itself is probably closer... Probably closer to 20 miles away, by the time you've travelled through the city and whatnot. Anyway, I'm hoping you can actually read this. I'll scroll down and chat so you can read this at the same time. But basically, this 16-year-old autistic teenager enrolled at City College, College Norwich. And uh, from what I've read here, he failed the... Um, uh, I can't think of the word. Um, the enrolment, basically, you know, they. I've not examined it. I really can't think of that word. It's completely gone. But you know, where you have to go to college and they test you and whatnot. Um, But, uh, excuse me. <laughs> I do apologise for that. Um, there we go. This is a week after he started. Um, but according to the college, they told Norfolk County Council that he needed a higher level of support. Even though this course caters for those on the autistic spectrum and as we will read further down his mum has said he can actually cope in a classroom situation on his own without one-to-one -one tuition um, so I'm actually guessing that would be why the college probably felt like couldn't give him the support he needed because some of us especially those higher on the spectrum would need one-to-one -one support um, but uh, if his mum's telling the truth which I've got no reason to believe she isn't then I think he could have coped with that course you know I don't see why anyone wouldn't if they can cope with the classroom atmosphere you know and a class full of other students who are on the spectrum as well I mean according to the council here they say they're um, they remain very keen to work with James and his family to secure the best possible outcome for his education uh, but his mum has said, here it is, his mum, Mrs. Parker, said that during the last term at school, James had not needed one-to-one -one support and could often cope with difficult social situations. Mm, to me, college isn't that difficult, a college class, I mean. But then again, I suppose that depends where you are on the spectrum. Um, I mean, I've done co college courses, didn't finish them, but not because I couldn't handle the social side of it, um, other reasons that I won't get into, but I didn't complete them. Um, in fact, one of them was just due to the mathematics side of the course that I was 
really struggling with because maths is not my strong point. I barely know what one plus one is, let alone complicated electrical math because I was studying electrical installations at the time. But anyway, going back to this. Um, I think he should be uh, given a chance. They obviously had the space in the class to have him there. But uh, oh, they removed him just three days after he began. Sorry, I thought that was a week. My mistake. <sighs> but you can't blame the tutor anyway, either. Rather, grammar fail. Because <laughs> apparently, a they bypassed the thing where they you know see if you fit the course I still can't think of that word it's actually here somewhere <laughs> we'll see if I can find it now because it's driving me nuts uh, assessed that is it the assessment <laughs> uh, yeah to a tutor enrolled James here it is it's right here it's uh, Highlighting everything but what I want to highlight. It's right there. Tutor enrolled James in error in July after the family bypassed the assessment process and made a direct application to the college. So. But surely it's not down to the tutor. I would have thought that would have been down to whoever's above the tutor, but never mind. I, I don't know how the system works. Heck. I, it was this college that I actually attended, and that was that's going back to 2001, 2002, something like that. I'm going back a long time. Now I feel old. <laughs> so I have no idea how the college system works. I don't get the different learning environment. If I could afford a course, I'd probably go back. Don't know what I'd study, but I'd find something. But it's having the cash to do it. Because even when you're on welfare like I am, they still charge you a certain amount to go on these courses. Usually a um, reduced cost than what someone who was working would pay. don't know if you could get a student loan. I don't think I'd want a student loan anyway, but I'm digressing again. So, what do you guys think? Was the college right? Is there not really enough information, especially from the college, um, for us to really make a decision? I mean, it doesn't really go into detail of why they or why he was enrolled in error and why they removed him from the course. It's just that basically, you know, the, the short, they've given the short version basically, haven't they, you know? We couldn't offer him the support he needed, but we haven't got all the details there, so... I guess... Uh, it still seems a bit odd to me, though, you know, it's a course that caters towards those on the spectrum, but not him, although I don't see why he doesn't fall under the category, if you like. You know, I don't understand why they feel he needs um, a different learning atmosphere. So, I'm going to leave the rest of this open for discussion. So, you know where the comments section is. You can drop them down there. If you think the college was correct. All right. My grammar really... Perhaps I should go to college to, you know, learn my grammar again. <laughs> oh, dear.
I don't script none of this either. That's probably one of the reasons my grammar's all over the place, because I don't write it down or anything. You can't be bothered with that. <clears throat> I'm not a professional video filmmaker, whatever you want to call it. I'm just a 33-year-old man that sits at home making random videos. And trying out a new thing, because I'm trying my OBS at the same time. But anyway, I'm digressing again. <laughs> we must stop doing that. Anyway, as I was saying, leave your views, opinions, insults, whatever, <laughs> in the comments below. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye.